Groups are pouring a lot of money into the Senate race in Kansas. You can see that through the amount of political ads on your TV right now. We're less than four weeks away from the election, and that U.S. Senate race isn't the only one being closely watched by more than constituents here. 41 Action News reporter Nick Starling explored why races in the metro have national appeal and who's funding the ads. There's a lot of attention on Kansas this election cycle, not just locally, but nationally, with the Kansas 3rd District and a competitive Senate race, which is funneling a lot of money into the state. With less than a month to go, candidates are trying to get their message out during a pandemic. We caught up with Congresswoman Sharice Davids, volunteering out at a church in Roland okay. Park, yeah. working to defend her seat for the first time. You know, obviously, I'm looking forward to uh, serving another term and just continuing the fight to do things like increase access to affordable quality health care. We also sat down with her challenger, Amanda Atkins, who believes she can flip the seat red. We've been out in the community talking with individuals and families and business leaders about what's most important to them in this election cycle. The money game is huge in this race. According to the Federal Election Commission, Davids has raised over three and a half million dollars reported in July and Atkins just over a million dollars. On the Senate side, the stakes are higher and so is the money. Looking at the FEC again, Democrat Barbara Bollier has raised over $7 million compared to Republican Roger Marshall with over $2.7 million. But according to Politico, two different political action committees brought in over an extra $7 million to the two campaigns. Outside money is always a factor in close races. Uh, most of the money in close races comes from outside of a district and outside of a state. Especially when the outcome impacts more than just Kansans. This could also be the pivotal seat which decides whether or not we have a Republican or a Democratic majority. Reporting in Kansas City, Nick Starling, 41 Action News.